a beautiful, beautiful day. Again, just nailing us with 60 and gorgeous. Just, it's cool because tomorrow's gonna be even warmer. And then, whew, then we go down, we get a white Christmas coming. Oh, it's so good. So this, this is fun. Just driving the go-kart. So the girls drove this when they were little. I think we got this go-kart when they were about that age. And if, if y'all have followed us for any amount of time, I don't remember where I posted this, but this is what happened when we first got the go-kart. What happened? <laughs> so yeah, great parenting, right? So that's why that's why they actually have helmets and five-point harnesses now and all that good stuff because we didn't have that when we first got it. But uh, it's so cool to see them driving it now. The same thing that the girls drove when they were little. So we're gonna attach this on here, see if have a little fun with them driving oh, around right in. now. Oh, hi, hi guys, yes. There you go. I to show you how to drive the go-kart when you went in and friends like you, like last time I, at the, when you were a kid. I'm gonna show you how to drive this. So Papa spoke in my seatbelt. I'm gonna go and that's it, okay? But I'm gonna be good this time. Okay, Mike, Mike, let's do this. How you drive, Mac Mac? I wanna hold this. Mac Mac, I know how to drive my pink go kite. If you don't know how to drive you yellow go kite, you are just gonna cry. You're just gonna cry. I was talking to Mac uh, Mac. Hi. Mac Mac, I know how to drive my go kite. It's very special. So that, that is just that's too funny watching her drive that thing and just talk trash on Mac Mac, AKA Mackenzie. Um, and she thought, she thought this, this was Mac Mac. So she was gonna talk directly to her, but so fun watching them do that and just see like the different like growth and just how they, like even watching the girls, like throwing it back to when they were that age and driving that thing, just fearless, balls to the wall, just go for it. And people are all worried about boys. These girls can hang. These girls can hang better than some of these boys can. All right. So this is this is awesome. So our friends over at the Italian Apron, Mark and Kim, they make homemade pasta and homemade meatballs. 
So I hit up Mark and I was like, hey, do you have, do you have any meatballs ready? Like, cause I don't want to go buy a store bought and y'all are Italian and you make the best food anyway. So he's like, yeah, you know what? Let me whip up some meatballs. Fresh meatballs. Threw those in the sauce. Then he's like, hey, while we were at it, we whipped up some fresh rigatoni. Like they straight made, they have this new pasta maker, I guess. I haven't seen it. I'm only imagining what it does. And I'm so excited because they're making fresh pasta. So we got fresh pasta too. Spaghetti went back in the cabinet. Forget, forget the spaghetti. We're going fresh. Fresh from the Italian apron. I'm so excited right now. This, this just like my stomach hurts. I'm so hungry. All right, so you approve? I approve. The uh, best pasta and noodles I've ever had. The Italian apron? My goodness. I mean, fresh meatballs, those were amazing. Just the meatballs themselves. But homemade pasta. But homemade pasta? Like, I've never made pasta. We've bought pasta from like a farmer's market type thing. Yeah. Right? Where they make it, you know. But there's just something about, like, they had just made this pasta. Like, it was fresh in the bag. Like, you could tell it was still, like, soft. My gosh. So good. I, this, I'm gonna have to hire them, like, weekly, like, weekly, you think? Weekly, maybe? I mean, we need to talk to Mark and Kim. Like, hey, Kim, like, you're a fantastic chef. We love your pasta, you know, once a week, maybe? I don't know. They should do this. Like, Italian Apron should, should make this fresh pasta and meatballs and make it available to people to buy. That would be cool if they did that. That would be cool. I don't know, we'll see. So I would say that's successful. It was fun, I had the I had the pups with me. I went over there to pick up the meatballs and the pasta. The boys were outside, said hi to the boys. The boys got to see Macy, uh, so it was awesome. I'm like, I love that family, family. The boys are so well behaved and they were, you know, said hello as soon as I got there and just great kids and, what we got, little pig? Hi, come here. You have no idea. That you're on YouTube, huh? You are a YouTube pig. We're working on we're working on the uh, potty training. Oh, okay. See, that's hey. what she started doing. How's it going, little pig? Anyways, we're working on potty training right now. With the pot, I think it's going good. She, she's at least really going on the potty pad. So we just gotta move it around, move it outside. So, she what are you doing back there? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? She is way more personable than Babe was. Now, Babe, we did get... I don't even know how old Babe was. I want to say maybe four months. <gasps> we didn't even celebrate Babe's birthday. Oh. Oh. Andy just broke the Christmas. Way to break the tree, Grinch. Anyways, we got Babe when... I think it's when she was like four months. This little one's only two months, so... you Like, she just follows you the minute you walk around the house. She follows you around and just wants to be a part of everything. And was... she doesn't want to miss out on anything, huh? All right, Rizzo, you say bye? Is that it for the vlog? All right, that's it. From Tennessee, y'all, Merry Christmas. Stop. All right, take it to the garage. Go slow, go. Go to the garage. Give it to Papa needs to fix.